All right, g'day IB psychologists. In this lesson on stress for IB health psychology, we're carrying on with cognitive explanations. In the previous lesson, we looked at appraisals. Now we're looking at reappraisals. If appraisals are how we think about a particular stressor, a reappraisal is we rethink it, right? We just go over that process again. Uh, and we're gonna look at this lesson, how and why reappraisals can influence our stress. Right? And in particular, we're going to look at how they influence our stress response. So we're going to, the key studies here, Jameson et al. in 2012. Now, they did a study involving the TRIA social stress test. So just to recap this test, if you're not familiar with it, participants come into a room. They've given five mi minutes to prepare a speech. It's usually a job interview. They're told, okay, you're going to have to apply for your dream job. Tell us why you should get it. And then they got five minutes to prepare and then they have to speak for five minutes in front of two or three evaluators who sit there with really negative body language like this or they just have like stone faces. Um, they don't give any sort of positive encouragement to the person speaking. And you got to do that for five minutes. And then they say, right, we're going to give you a math challenge or you're going to do some arithmetic here. They give you a random number and then they'll say, okay, count backwards in eight, in eight, right, from 3,000. 24 so you go 3024 3016 2008 3000. and then while that's happening they're still giving you negative feedback now what happens is before you do that test they'll measure your stress levels either cortisol blood pressure heart rate and then they measure it afterwards as well right to see how that uh, affected your stress levels that tsst tria social stress test is the most common way psychologists use to to uh, create stress in a lab so what jameson and our and colleagues did was they took these participants but they divided them into three groups in one group the reappraisal group they gave them some information that said um, stress is beneficial and if you can uh, focus on your stress you can use it as a resource right and it's going to help your performance so actually stress is a good thing in the ignore condition they gave them almost identical materials but the information was tweaked to explain that actually ignoring stress is better for you and that's good uh, and of course this was fictional information there, there's no evidence to suggest this would have any effect uh, and the control condition didn't read anything they also so they did the TSST and their um, blood pressure and other cardiovascular measures were taken before and after and they did an emotional stroop test as well so let me just quickly explain what an emotional stroop test is this is taken from the materials I created so you can replicate this in class so I believe I'm explaining this right um, but the uh, this would be the neutral condition the emotional condition we can see a range of words here written in different colors and I would just go through and say the color of the word and see how long it takes me now the emotional condition same thing but we see the words here have got some sort of emotional component to them all right now how did and now the, these resources here are actually copies from the original study. How did I get these? Well, I emailed Dr. Jameson and I said, hey, I'm putting together a package about uh, stress and I'd love to see your materials that you used because it'd be really good to see the originals. Uh, and so he emailed them back to me and we can see here, this is from the reappraisal, um, right? This is talking about, the. we can see almost identical, but the information is just tweaked slightly. Okay, this is about ignoring, this is about reappraising. Okay, so two different conditions. Now, I have a couple of questions about the emotional stroop task, which I'm not completely sure of, uh, and also the study. So I emailed back Dr. Jameson and said, can I interview you? Can we talk about this through Zoom? Uh, I'm sure IB psychology students would love to hear uh, from the man himself about the study. So that's happening tomorrow. I'm really excited. That's why I'm making this video, uh, explaining the study. And also I'm coming up with questions about the research and about stress. Uh, and I actually get to talk to him tomorrow. And I'm hoping this is the first of uh, a lot of videos where we can actually talk to psychologists and bring it to the classroom and make it a little bit more real. Anyway, carrying on with the study. So they had those three groups. And what they found was that in the reappraisal group, they had uh, the questionnaire they filled out showed they felt they had more resources, right? So this is suggesting they had a challenge appraisal. Uh, and also they had a challenge, uh, yeah, sorry, a challenge appraisal, right? Meaning I've got the resources to cope with this. They also had a better stress response. So increased cardiac output, meaning there was more volume of blood pumped from the heart. Uh, and they also, uh, and what also happened was that we see here in their arteries, this is an image taken from the TED Talk, How to Make Stress Your Friend, where uh, McGonagall is talking about Jameson's study. We can see 
this is the uh, threat response. This is what happened in the ignore condition, right? This is not a beneficial response to stress, whereas this is much better. You're going to uh, have a better a better response to stress. And again, I'm going to ask Dr. Jameson to elaborate on this because I'd really like to hear more about these differences. Um, but in a moment, I'll explain how this can lead to other health problems based on these responses in the heart. So the emotional Stroop test also showed uh, they had less attentional bias for emotionally negative information as well. So what can we conclude from this? Well, my conclusion that I take from this is that the way that we reappraise information, if we can think about stress as being beneficial, then that's going to affect our perception of our resources, meaning, okay, stress is actually something that's going to help me out, and then I'm going to have a beneficial stress response. That's going to have uh, more benefits long-term. I used this myself earlier this week. I had a job interview, super stressed about it because I really wanted the job, and I was driving back from dropping my kids off at daycare, not the one you can hear crying in the background, sorry about that, the uh, the other two, and I thought, man, I'm so stressed, and then I thought, actually, this is good, because I'm going to have blood flying through my brain, my, resp uh, my answers are going to be sharper, I'm going to be able to think, and so I tried to harness all that physical anguish and turmoil I felt about thinking about the job interview uh, for my benefit, uh, and I got the job, so maybe it worked. But looking at how that difference in the response can influence our health long term, it could lead to cardiovascular disease. So cardiovascular disease is a general term that covers a range of problems that we could have with our heart. Um, you know, clogged arteries, uh, high blood pressure, stroke, heart attack, all of these things. And so what happens in the short term when you have um, increase in cortisol and stress hormones, that's great because you can deal with the stressor. But if this happens long term, this is where we can get a lot of problems. And so what happens, the increase in blood pressure can cause plaque to build up in our arteries. And if that plaque continues to build, we're going to have a narrowing of the arteries like this. And then that can lead to all sorts of problems, right? When If they rupture or they clot, we can have heart attacks, we can have strokes. Okay, now cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of death around the world. Uh, and so it's really important to see how these things are linked. So there we, so we see there that our reappraisal, how we reappraise stresses can influence our, uh, our stress response, and that can have flow-on effects long-term for our physical health. All right, now a follow-up study. This isn't really for your exams, uh, IB psychology students, so much as it is uh, not for writing about in your exams, but for using in your exams to do well. Hang on, let me explain. They took this study into the field in a community college with math students, and math students who typically aren't like really high achievers, uh, who might struggle, who might have some math achievement anxiety, and they did the same procedures, except instead of the TRIA social stress test, they actually had a real math exam. They, they did the math exams in their course. And so the groups that were told to reappraise stress as being beneficial, they actually they had less anxiety about the tests, and their test scores went up. Not just in the short term, right before the tests, but over the whole semester, their averages were higher as well. So the topics in your IB psychology exam, this study probably wouldn't appear in your essay, but the knowledge of the study, I'm hoping you can use to reappraise your own exam stress uh, and perform better. All right, like I said, I've got an interview coming up tomorrow with Dr. Jameson. I'm really excited about that. Um, but in the meantime, if you haven't already got your hands on the resources to help you out for the exams, we have the ebook, the revision book, the example essays with examiner comments and a whole bunch of tips here how to do well, the digital flashcards you can download, print them out, so you've got all the studies there. The first ever audio book for IB Psychology. So every lesson is recorded as an audio book and you can get the whole bundle if you're a teacher, if you're a student, perhaps flick this to your teacher if you don't already have it. Uh, if, if you um, are not studying, if you're studying IB Psychology and you're not doing this unit and it sounds interesting, you can download previews of all this. Again, your, um, recommend your teacher check it out. They might be interested. Okay, here's the blog as well um, and the YouTube and all that other jazz. So thank you and see you next time.